Hello. Hello. Can you start by telling us um, your name, your anticipated grad year, your major, and what you do on campus? Okay, so my name is Cameron Scari. Um, I plan to graduate in 2020 with my master's in rehabilitation counseling, uh, working with the deaf population. And on campus, I get really involved in um, a lot of the theater, um, a lot of, um, oh, <laughs> dang it. Um, I also work for the Phonathon uh, Center under advancement on campus. And yes. Great. <laughs> So Cameron and I happen to know that you are a transfer student mm -hmm. or you came here as a transfer student um, during your undergrad. Can you tell us a little bit about why you came to Western? Um, so my area of study is very specific and so there's not many institutions in the U.S. that have uh, what I want which is working with the deaf population and so I went to a school for a semester and it didn't seem like a good fit. Um, the academics weren't really challenging me and though I was exposed to that community it wasn't a good fit for me and so I knew that Western was closer to home, it was on the west coast which is where I'm from um, and I'd visited or, or Western Oregon in high school um, during my volleyball tournaments, we would travel around Oregon and I visited here to see what it was like and I knew that I loved it. And so knowing I love the campus and that they had the program I wanted, I knew that it was a good place to transfer to. Great. So how has Western Oregon University helped you grow as a student and as a person? Um, I've networked a lot and made a lot of good connections, both professionally and personally here at the institution. Um, I'm actually going to a conference in Baltimore in spring where I'll get to, you know, continue um, that growth and networking. Um, personally, I've made a lot of longtime friends here, um, people that I know that I couldn't have gotten through, you know, two years of undergrad and now undergrad school without. Um, and the faculty and staff have really helped. They're all very welcoming and friendly and made my experience better. So um, because you are... Um you work for the Phonathon here. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience working last year's Giving Day? Oh, last year's Giving Day was probably one of my favorite days. Um, I had worked there for a couple months, and Giving Day was an all day, like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. thing, and I only had one class that day, which was two hours, so for the other 10, I was in that room, you know, calling people. And one of my favorite experiences was I called someone and I think I had a, I didn't even have a really personal goal, but I was hoping maybe for $750 that I personally raised throughout that day on top of our uh, goal that we were already trying to achieve. And someone asked where I was and where I was trying to be. And I said, well, you know, I may be $150 short. And the person just said, all right, $150, there you go. And so it was nice to have someone that even though I don't personally qualify for scholarships, having someone not only care about the institution's well-being, but also mine. And your last question, if, if there is a senior in high school out there looking at colleges and, and considering Western, mm -hmm. what would you say to them to, to sell your experience? What has it meant to you? I guess I would ask about their priorities. If you want a great community, you want faculty and staff that are going to support you through every step, um, lifelong friends and connections, a beautiful campus to do it on, um, then Western is definitely the place to go. I agree. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> thank you, Cameron. Of course. Thank, thank you. you.